Hey traders, today I'm going to show you a fantastic feature of the market analyzer. It allows you to add any one of your indicators, customize it, specify it so it can signal you when, for example, um, the market is overbought, oversold, like the smart stochastics indicator I'm going to add. So let's go ahead and get that started and you'll see how I use it when I'm trading in the currency markets. There's a great feature in the market analyzer. Let me go ahead and pull that down. Okay. If you open up a market analyzer, many of you may be familiar with this already, but if not, it's real easy to set up. You can change all of your columns. Go ahead to the column row and add just the columns that you want. I don't like a lot of confusing information, so I'm just going to put the instrument, the daily volume, the last price, and I'm going to add an indicator to monitor in this case, the smart stochastics. And what I'd like to see is whether or not they're overbought or oversold. Because at just at a glance, you can see right now, I can take a look at the euro, the pound, or the franc, and see whether or not there's a trade that's coming up. Now, here's how you set it up. We'll go back into the columns. Once I add my st smart stochastic, the way I do that is I go ahead and pull down the indicator choice in the columns. Where'd you go? Okay, if we click on indicator and add that, I can choose which indicator I'd like to add there. So once I add it over here, I'm going to look for the different indicators and right over here, choose the one that I want. All the indicators in my system are here, so I'll go ahead and find the smart stochastic. Click that. And then we've gone ahead and done that. I've changed the label so that it's just the smart stochastic, but that's how we add it. And then let's go ahead and take that off right now. And then once we've added it, here's how we set it up. The first thing we, that, that's important to do is we're going to be monitoring the D plot because that's what the signals are going to be on. When the D plot is over 80 or below 20, those are our oversold or overbought conditions, excuse me, overbought or oversold conditions. Okay, we don't care about the parameter uh, brushes because we turn those off but remember to change the period okay this is not drawing information from the mo the indicators that are on your charts this is drawing for information from the indicator attached to the market analyzer so remember our d period is three our k period is seven and our smoothing is at five and then in order to get the readout we're going to add cell conditions, okay? We don't need to do any filters, but we're going to add two conditions. And the way we do that is by clicking the cell, we'll go ahead and add a condition. We've already added two, so I'm going to take that one off. And the first one, we're just going to pick a color, put some text in, and then choose a value so that obviously if the value is below or less than 20, we know that it's oversold. And we're going to give us an indication to go long or green and tell us that it's oversold. We don't know whether it's a trade yet. We're going to look at the chart, but this is a scanner. Same thing. We'll put another one in. If it's overbought, we might think of going short. So that's why I put pink in there. And that has to be greater than 80. Okay, let's go ahead and close that out. And cancel again. So as you can see, with every chart, excuse me, with every candle close, we might get a change here. I don't really pay attention to the actual value. I'm just looking for the green or the uh, um, uh, pink or reddish background for me to scan the charts. So there you have it, traders. That's how you set up the market analyzer to scare for any instruments. I've set it up for the currency futures to scan for overbought or oversold situations. Um, so let's take a look and see. Uh, we're in the middle of the afternoon, so there is not a lot of activity. Things have slowed down. But here you can see the market analyzer. We're looking at the 6E, and remember, we're following the D line. That's the one in red, and uh, it's actually right behind the K or blue. So it's going to be around 69 or so. There it is, 69.58. And let's take a look at the Australian dollar. And that's 3173. Up, oh, we got caught behind it again, but you can see if it were overbought or oversold, you'd see it light up in the pink or the uh, uh, the green. 
the 6B, the pound is going to be at 40.83, and there you have it, 40.83 on the chart. It will show you the values, and if it's over 80, the way we've set it up, or below 20, it won't say the number. It will say overbought, oversold, because you've typed that into the text. The Canadian dollar, we're at, uh, looks like 30.45, there we go, and the yen is at 28.37 there it is right there and new zealand dollar 28 20, excuse me 24.85 just behind there looks like that one is going into oversold condition so that might be something to watch come the morning let's see where it is right now parabolically we're right in the middle so i wouldn't worry about that right now and last one is let's see the franc and that is also going to be just behind 65. So that's how you set things up, 67.1. That's how you set it up. Um, good luck trading. If you have any questions, you'd let me know, and this will be a useful tool for you. And play around with it. Try different indicators. Experiment with it. Follow the directions in the video, and you should have no trouble setting it up.